beautiful new patterns. New year, new patterns, why the heck not? So I've got two here to go through with you. And as you can see, I've ended up doing kind of three samples of each, which is great because I can give you all the details about them and hopefully answer some of the questions that you guys sent us on our Facebook sewing group. So here they are, rather lovely, the slouchy t-shirt blouse and the miracle pants. And I'm gonna go to the miracle pants first because that's the one we've had the most questions of. Uh, and the main question is, why did you call them miracle pants? Good question, I'm going to tell you. Um, first off, this is one of these pants that you can see kind of the shape of them. They're not skinny, they're not flare, they've got a slight flare towards the bottom, but it's minuscule. And it's one of those pieces that suits everybody, everybody's shape, everybody's size. So that's the first miraculous thing. The second thing is there are really only two pattern pieces, front leg, back leg, that's it. And which means that they're very, very quick and easy to make. You just zip them together and you're done. Uh, we have an elastic waist, but I'm gonna show you that close up in a moment, which is a very smooth, what we call a Hollywood waist. So there's no real elastic casing. And the final miracle thing is this, you can make them in knits and you can make them in stretch woven. So it kind of ticks all the boxes, it does everything. So that's why they are miracle pants. And I can tell you, hand on heart, I wore the prototype of these when I went to the UK a while ago, and I did a day in Paris while I was there, and I did a day that was like 16 hours long, started at five in the morning, ended at 11 o'clock at night, and my miracle pants looked as good at the end as they did at the beginning. So yay, miracle pants, truly miraculous. So that's those, I'm gonna show you the samples of these ones shortly. <coughs> Excuse me. And the other one, of course, is our beautiful slouchy t-shirt blouse. I wonder if Jeremy's asked me a question. What's your question, Jeremy? I'll just speak down a little bit. Oh, please. okay, because I'm doing my normal thing of talking very quickly, sorry. Okay, so plain and simple slouchy t-shirt blouse. This is really what it says on the envelope. T-shirt shape, but designed for a woven like this. So it looks a lot more blousy, and of course you can make it in a knit like a t-shirt. Now, this one has got some very useful things, very useful for you when you're making it to fit you. The first thing is princess seams, all the way through here and at the back. This means you're not gonna get kind of baggy bust areas because nobody wants those. And you can tweak it in through the waist as well if you want to, if you want to make it more fitted, you can tweak it in through here as well as the side seams. So for that one, really, really useful, nice in wovens, nice in knits, all good. So now I'm going to show you my samples and I'm not sure if you can see this, and truthfully, without planning, without trying, without kind of any sort of realizing that I was doing it, I've ended up with a nice little capsule here. It wasn't my plan, I promise you it wasn't my plan. So these are the Miracle Pants in an off-white double knit. I've pressed in the center front crease, which you don't have to do, but it makes them a bit more dressy. I would say though, that like these ones, they've got a pressed in and a stitched in crease. If you're going to be laundering them a lot, and of course, white pants you are, you're probably gonna to want to stitch them in because you can throw them in the laundry and they're done, no pressing required. You don't, of course, have to do a crease at all. However, <laughs> on these ones, I couldn't help myself. Um, I put a side stripe on with um, a leopard print uh, ribbon on top. Don't judge, you know I like leopard print. Um, and it's a nice kind of sporty glam thing to do. So uh, it's certainly something you can do, just overlay it on your side seam, very, very simple. And the tops, well, the tops are it, they're exactly as is out of the envelope. You've got a sleeveless one, short sleeved, long sleeved. Long sleeved has got rib or knit cuffs, which is quite a fun thing to do. It kind of makes it a little bit more casual. We've got a woven fabric neckband, but you can use rib, whatever you want. Um, and then we've got our sleeveless version. <coughs> now, our sleeveless version, I hadn't kind of planned it, but it just kind of evolved this way. So it has, matching stripes as you can see and I put them across the um, shoulder as well and the truth is with this one because it's ponty I'll probably take it in a little through these seams here just it's quite you know it sits away from the body a little bit but it's a fab look to go with these two um, and then this as I say off-white miracle pants this is kind of um, you know a bit disco because it's got my sequined sleeves and we've also done a sequined applique on the back which looks really fab I really like it now, final thing to show you is this. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a terrible cough coming on. Uh, Sienna, my lovely, beautiful assistant, Thank please you. bring me a, a starry chillax hoodie. 
Now, this is what I mean when I say we pulled together a little capsule, totally without realising it, totally without trying. And my lovely handsome boy, could you please bring me over that beautiful poncho? Thank you, lovely handsome boy. See, it's a family concern. One of the benefits of filming on a Saturday. Honestly, <laughs> I, have my I have my assistants here and they, they have to do it, they have no choice. So that can go over there very easily. And we've got a little bit of a, I can get rid of that there, okay. So that works really well with there. And finally, let me show you the uh, zhuzhi, lovely Hollywood waist. Sienna, could you please bring me the black pants and the pink folder? Now I'm gonna come right over the camera for this. <laughs> Thank you so much, my lovely child. Okay, I'm gonna do it this way because you won't be able to see it otherwise. I'm gonna pop this down here so you can see. All right, let me walk right up to the camera so we get this. Can we see it? I'm not sure if we can. Let me no, show it I'm not there. sure if we can or not. Okay, well look, this is it when it's sewn, but when it's worn, you the need to be elastic. That camera as well, Trudy. Yeah, the elastic flips like that and goes nice and smooth. Does that make sense? So let me show you the other camera that we're playing with. When you make it, it's like this, kind of all gathering and horrible, but when you put it on, it's all nice and smooth like that. Oh yes, Hollywood waste, we love it. So, there you have it. Okay, let's talk fabric for a moment. Let's talk fabric, good idea. What fabrics are suitable for what? Okay, your pants, uh, they have to be stretchy. Has to be stretchy, has to be stretchy. Stretch wovens are like twill, crepe, a stretch wool. Um, I would say, please avoid denim unless it's really soft and really stretchy. So like, you know those jegging fabrics you keep getting and keep finding and think, what can I make from this apart from jeggings? They would work really well for this. Um, and also, of course, like double knits. I know somebody asked us actually on our Facebook group, she said, I get very hot in polyester ponty, which I understand, which of course is double knit for this. I've actually found, this is a rayon, Ponty, and this is a cotton ponty, so you can find them. They're not where, necessarily where the Where did you find those? Uh, you know what? I've got both of these actually from Fabric Mart, but you will find them if you go onto Etsy, if you go onto eBay, and you just put in rayon ponty or cotton ponty. They're not super, super, super easy to find, but you will find them. It's not that hard. It really depends what colours you're after. If you're if you're after a really difficult colour, good luck with that. Okay. So that's the pants, uh, stretch wovens or double knits. And for the tops, well, honestly, as long as it's floppy, you're good. You just don't want anything that's too stiff. So this one is a polyester, a, sorry, a polyester Georgette. That one is a soft a rayon ponty. This one is, a, this is actually a rayon crepe t-shirting. So it's quite floppy like a t-shirt, but it's very, very matte. Um, yeah, almost anything, as long as it's not too... Uh, stiff and you don't want it too see-through and kind of droopy either. That would be pretty much it. Your neckline rib or your stretchy fabric if you're using it for a t-shirt or woven fabric. Ooh, little handy hint for you. If you're using a t-shirt or a stretched knit fabric for your top and it's stretchy enough for you to make the rib uh, neckline out of the fabric, it also means that your neckline on the garment's going to stretch. Yes, it is. So my tip for you is, run a row of stay stitching around the neckline before you apl apply the neckband. Ask me how I learned this one. Alrighty, anything else to finish? You know, I just think, really, the only thing to say to finish is that these are super, super, super versatile pieces. Um, we've designed them really to kind of be like year-round pieces, so you can wear them all the time, and, you know, just really a change of fabric, with the top, a change of sleeve length, and you're good to go. You can do them for evenings, you can do them for dressy, you can do them for casual, you can do them for work as well. So, I would say, I would say with my punch on the floor, I would say these are a very, very useful addition to your hot patterns wardrobe, and I think once you've made them up and you've kind of done any little tiny tweaky fits, you're gonna love them and make a whole lot more. Thank so, you so much. Thank you very much for watching.